The solar industry in the past five years has unarguably experienced more growth and innovation than 99% of other American industries. But what if I told you that in 2023, things would continue to innovate and change and look a lot different for homeowners looking to go solar? Here are the four changes in solar that will have a big impact in 2023. The first big change in 2023 is that we will begin to see installation time speed up. If you got solar installed in your house in 2022, you'd likely experience longer than normal installation timelines than you expected. The reality is, in 2022, the solar industry grew at a rate that nobody could have predicted. As a result, installation companies were understaffed, utility companies were not prepared to deal with the amount of net metering inquiries, and local counties and states were overwhelmed by the amount of permits filed. Therefore, homeowners in some instances were left with installation timelines varying from 60 to up to 90 days. Now obviously this was on a case-by-case -case basis. If you were in a small town, this might have not affected you. On the other hand, if you were a homeowner in the Houston, Texas market, you dealt with this issue directly. As a result of these issues, I can tell you that installation companies are better equipped with staff as we recover from the staffing shortages, which were an issue since 2020. Additionally, manufacturer companies have done their part by decreasing the commissioning times on their equipment, leading to more one-day installs, which has dramatically sped up the process to get installed. What we experienced in 2022, especially in the second half of the year with the increased tax credit, just led to a high influx in install requests, which were not all accounted for. The good news is installation companies are better staffed in 2023 and better equipped to deal with the higher installation volumes. The supply chain crisis that slowed down shipping times in the beginning of 2022 has since seen improvements and installers are working smoother. Additionally, we have begun to see local permitting offices as well as utility companies adopt solar divisions within their branches to deal with the solar inquiries. Now obviously guys, installation timelines still will be on a case-by-case -case basis, but overall we're looking at quicker installation timelines. The second change that you should expect to see in 2023 is the aesthetic of panels continuing to change. Not only five years ago, it was common to see solar panels with the primary color being blue within a lot of instances, a white inner lining which resembled a web. Since then, homeowners demands for a black on black module have led manufacturers to focus on creating a sleek black on black panel to satisfy homeowners desires. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, there has yet to be a standard panel size adopted amongst manufacturers as they continue to compete on providing the most amount of wattage while also remaining relatively sized in order for flexible install parameters on the roof. In all, there is a lot of competition within the solar manufacturer market, which customers should be pleased with as these companies continue to put out the best product offering to the market. Companies such as Silfab, QCell, and REC, which could previously brag about their black on black aesthetic, are no longer sitting alone. And real quick guys, we put out content like this two or even three times a week, talking all things solar. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and we also answer all comments. So if you have any questions, there's no such thing as a bad question, ask them down below and we'll get back to you. The third change that you should expect to see in 2023 is less solar financing options offered. Due to rising interest rates, solar lenders have had to pull financing products, which they were once able to offer as it is no longer feasible. Additionally, they may no longer be able to offer financing to homeowners with sub 600 credit scores, which was available on the greater part of 2022. Overall, this is due to lenders tightening up on who they would choose to finance in these uncertain times. If this applies to you, I would recommend looking into ways to improve your credit score if you're looking into applying for financing. Additionally, staying away from derogatory marks on your credit history, such as a missed mortgage payment, is the best way to start. Therefore, in 2023, we do expect to see a lot more homeowners look into purchasing their system in cash, which will be more feasible now with the increased tax credit. Now obviously, if you feel the quotes for solar, you would know that companies will compete on who can offer the lowest rates or the most quote-unquote creative financing products, but with the Fed raising rates on multiple occasions in Q3 and Q4, those once popular financing programs will no longer be offered. Now guys, how long things will be like this, we do not exactly know, and that would be a better question for an economist. One piece of advice I can give you is that it's important to discuss how you're looking into paying off your system with your solar consultant so they can best match a financing solution to serve your needs. If you're looking into paying off a system within five years, a loan with a higher upfront interest rate with a shorter duration may be a better option for you than a longer term loan with a lower rate that would be better suited for a homeowner who's looking for long term small payments. Your solar consultant will only know this if you communicate your goals with them, 
which I recommend doing. And as always, if you're in the process of shopping for solar for your home and you need to get a quote or you already have a price quote and you want to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting a good deal, feel free to reach out to us by clicking the link below this video. It will take you to our website where you can book a short Zoom call with likely myself and we could put together a design for you and also provide some pricing information. The fourth change that you should expect to see in solar in 2023 is more installations paired with battery backup. Battery technology continues to innovate and it has really been in the last three years that we've seen batteries truly start to become popular. You see, as technology comes out for the first time, there are growing pains and with solar paired batteries, that was the case. Manufacturers could not find a way to build a battery that could be mounted on the wall without taking up the entire garage. Commissioning times on those batteries was extremely long and the storage capacity and surge power were not up to par. Therefore, companies allocated resources to solving these issues and are now at a place where installation timelines for batteries can be done in under a day or two, and installation companies are more than willing to carry batteries in their inventory and service those installations. You see, a big part about which technology gets adopted within the industry is dependent upon which technology the installation partners choose to work with. At the end of the day, the manufacturers who produce the panels, the inverters, and the batteries, well, they rely on the installation partners to purchase their equipment in wholesale and make it available to customers so they can service those requests. But if an installation partner doesn't like to work with a specific piece of equipment, whether it takes too long to install or if it's unreliable, they simply won't keep it in their inventory and offer it to customers. That is why manufacturers, while they focus a large amount of their intention on creating a customer-friendly product, still must dedicate a large portion of their budget and product development towards making an installation-friendly product. Batteries are now friendly to install meet consumer demands with storage and surge power, and are incentivized by a 30% federal tax credit. That is why we expect to see a rise in installations paired with battery backup in 2023. Now, a fifth one that I'm gonna give you guys for sticking around is EV charging integrated solar systems. Solar installers have discovered that homeowners who are particularly interested in solar tend to have interest in electric vehicles as well. Now, why I didn't mention this product earlier on the list is because being a new technology, this product has become slow to come to market and has faced some minor road bumps. Now, this product is typically integrated within the inverter and they claim that it can charge EVs at a six times faster rate than a normal level one EV charger. Now, why this is a cool technology is that being an integrated topology, it removes the hassle of installing two separate standalone units, which eliminates the need for extra wiring, conduit, breaker space in your service panel, and installation expenses. Now I will mention because this product has recently come to market, there have been minor hiccups which have led installers to not carrying the product, mainly due to commissioning times, a very small percentage in demand across homeowners, and a greater expense to that homeowner. With more and more supercharging stations popping up across cities, I would be interested to see where this product goes and I would keep an eye out for it. I hope this video was able to educate you in any way and get you excited about the industry going into 2023. At this point with Solar Pros, we're just looking to grow by providing consistent value. So if you found this video valuable, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and stick around for great content that's to come. Again, my name is Jack and I will see you guys next time.